Hi guys, it's Tanya from 4Girls. Uh, I want to show today these earrings, which could be also elements for your necklaces. I will show you one other idea I did. This short necklace has tons of different elements, like leftover from your projects. So you can use any small pieces that you have, pieces of chain, let's say, or any like a swirls, circles, and you can also include one small element like that. And it will be a unique, unique piece. So for that, what we need, it could be any wires, but this I made also with uh, thicker wire and you can make them like long if you want to be a part like a bar necklace you can make them longer and also skinnier but instead of working today with the thick wire i decide to do the one that i use for my earrings because earrings was actually made uh, the frame becomes later a ear wire also like french hook So we will use 20 gauge wire and 26 for weaving. This is five and three fourth of inch. For the earrings, you might need a little longer if you want to make earrings. I will just make the component, something like this. So I use my bail maker. And you have to just make a little a u shape and i will use 26 gauge wire we're striking to make something like this so that will become later this. When I make these, um, I use all kinds of like leftover wire. This one was done with one piece of wire. Here you can see that I was like wrapping. That was the end because you, I have a lot of leftover from different projects. So I want to use them in the elements. And then I stop just secure them and start it with a different kind you can also make them with a different gauges i had uh, done some i don't know if it's this one or the others that i did with uh, a 24 gauge and then like 26 gauge so any gauge wire you have left over you don't want to you don't know what to do with them you can make these um these little elements okay so I will secure my wire in one corner like about three four times Okay. 
when we do earrings you want to go all the way down when you want to do the element you want to leave a little bit because that's you will secure later um, the end and you make basic um, basket weave make it easy I always do like this it's easy for me so around down and secure then you continue for a little bit So let me finish and come back. So I done wrapping and I also use my torch. I use heat to pre-anneal it so it will be more soft. Uh, let's see. The weaving part is not one inch and one fourth. It's important to know how long you're supposed to be when you do earrings because you want to make them same. But for the elements, if you make them for your necklaces, it doesn't matter. It could be one inch, could be one and a half. Um, I did this one, I think, think it was like two inches long. Uh, it's like for my bar necklace. So uh, the next step is you want to cut the top. And if you need any like a object like a needle, something that you can twist around, you put it in the middle and you just form it. Because it's really soft enough to press around the object. And you can nicely squeeze it. You can also use your pliers if you wanted to, a little bit gentle. And you create something like this. I hope you can see. Um, now, we have those two ends from each side, you leave one, preferably longer, and you would wire the, the wrap the other wire around.
and we have a little component. Then you can make a simple loop up here and it could be part. You know, when you use very thin wire, try to hammer this part. So to, to work hardening your wire will be more stiff, will not lose the shape when you do the simple loop. Um, I also use hammer even if I do with a thicker wire. It's I just like when my jewelry strong in one go anywhere like it's not you will not be able to bend it's very stiff and i think for the necklaces it's better to use thicker wire than thinner i just want to show how easy it's to do them and with uh with the thinner wire it's easier to bend it's easy also to bend with the thicker because if you use heat it's it's soft you can um easily maneuver the wire for earrings use thin wire and then you can make also um french hook from that it will be like a solid one part i want to show you one more necklace i did we put like two of those on each side there's uh it has no clasp um, this long necklace and then the bottom part is completely have those little beads with the jump ring and I put them in a the chain I hope guys you like it and you can utilize all your leftover wires for this project make tons of them make the whole necklace you can make them smaller and connect them with uh, with your jump rings and make like a middle element and then with the simple chain uh, possibilities are endless also could be very nice if you bend it apart for your bracelet uh, thank you guys for watching. Have fun creating stuff and I will see you next Tuesday again. Thank you.